After the arrival of the Boeing 777X, the next jewel to showcase for the company will be the Boeing 797. At least, that's what we think it will be called. Now, there's a lot of hype within the industry regarding this aircraft, and not much is known apart from the seating capacity and also the range. Also, a lot of rumours have suggested that the program will officially be launched at next year's Paris Air Show. Whether or not this will actually be the case, that remains to be seen. But there is one thing for sure, and that is that time is running out. Now, Airbus are launching ever more pressure on Boeing by launching the AV21LR, and only recently there's strong reasons to suggest that they're seriously considering going one step further by launching the AV21XLR. Although many people view the AV21LR as only a stopgate until the 797 arrives, there's no doubt about it that Airbus are making small progress in gaining orders here and there. At the end of the day though, this is all speculation. Until the executive board over at Boeing officially launched the program, then take most of the information out there with a pinch of salt. Nevertheless, there are two things which are certain, the seating configuration and the expected range which was officially told by Boeing at the Farnborough Air Show. Now two models will be presented before the airlines, the Dash 6 and also the Dash 7. Now the Dash 6 will fly around 235 passengers of up to 4,500 nautical miles or 8,334 kilometers. The larger Dash 7 will carry 267 passengers, but this model will have a reduced range of only 4,100 nautical miles or 7,590 kilometers. Nevertheless, majority of the airlines, whether in the US, Europe or Asia, will be able to fly transatlantic or Asia-Pacific flights without worrying about hitting the maximum takeoff weight or running out of fuel. The plane will feature two aisles and they'll most likely be configured in a 2 3 2 layout so it's not bad at all. It means passengers will be fairly comfortable and if you're sitting in the middle then you can move around with a fair bit of ease. Now where the 797 will do extremely well is allowing airlines to open up many many more routes. We can already see this with the 787 Dreamliner. Airlines are now operating routes, which they never would have done had they operated other aircraft such as the 767s for example. Now the 797 will have a similar fate to the 787, and we could even see more versatility from the airlines. With it dubbed to being the most fuel efficient plane and having great range for an aircraft in its group, it means that the plane will allow airlines to open more point to point destinations. This means that you'll be able to fly from London Gatwick to places such as Chicago, Detroit, Dallas and many others, rather than changing for a connection, reducing significant amount of time in transit. Now Boeing are very hopeful of the plane. Although many people are slating the company due to them taking way too long to provide an answer, they're actually taking their time and studying the market so they can deliver an effective product, and essentially blow anything out of the water that Airbus can present. It'll be around 40% cheaper to operate than the A330neo and they're estimating around 5,000 planes will be delivered in the next 20 years. Now that's a significant number. Now where the 797 will truly be unique is its utilization of a turbulence laser. We know that turbulence can be uncomfortable for the passengers and the problem with turbulence is that it's invisible. While Boeing are trying to fix this with a LiDAR system which sends out pulses of lasers. It detects changes in the wind by looking at wind speeds and light reflected by particles in the sky to the plane's sensor. The software will be able to see these changes and it will indicate the presence of clear air turbulence to the pilot. Now although this software is still in its early phases, we could see the prototype mature as the years go by. So all in all, I know many of you guys are very excited for this hyped up plane and to be honest I don't blame you. But we can sense that all of their attention is on the 777X and the 797 will likely be given attention once the 777X has been delivered and the production line is relatively smooth. To be honest, we just have to wait and see what happens regarding the project, but many people are suggesting that Boeing will likely aim to bring the first aircraft to the market by the year 2025. So thank you so much for watching my fellow friends, I hope you enjoyed this video regarding the 797. Leave your opinions and thoughts in the comments below and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.